Hi everyone and welcome to Small Business Social, where we're dedicated to helping you discover your own personal business model and also simplify the process of creating, marketing, and growing that business. My name is Jill and I am your host. So today we're going to talk about how I started my business for just $7.99 and how you can do the same thing. Now, um, you know, I already had a computer and I did have to spend money for my internet, but I was already doing that anyway. Other than that, I was able to create the business for $7.99 and obtain clients without spending another penny. So stay tuned, watch the whole video because I'm going to tell you how I did it and how you can do it too. Um, I think that it's an advantage a lot of times if you don't have a large startup budget because it forces you to be creative. It forces you to exclude anything you don't absolutely need to spend money on and it gets your business off and started and you can actually test the business and make sure it's viable before you put a lot of money into it. And really interesting, I was listening to a podcast the other day and I wish I could remember which one it was. The person being interviewed on the podcast was comparing businesses that are fully funded either by angel investors or um, private equity money or business loans. Um, and she was also comparing them against businesses that are bootstrapped, basically started for almost no money at all. And interesting fact was that the number one reason that businesses that are fully funded fail is because they run out of money, where that's number 10 reason for failure for businesses that are bootstrapped and start with literally nothing. So um, that tells you a lot. In a way, this is a huge advantage. So uh, let's get started and, and let's talk about it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I did already have a computer and I did already have internet access, but I think that most of you do too, probably. The only thing I knew I needed 100% right then and there was a website, or at least a landing page. So I spent $7.99 and bought my domain name. Now, um, the reason it was so cheap, one, it was several years ago, and two, the .com wasn't even available at the time. So I ended up getting the .net at a discount. Um, I'm also fortunate that my dad is a computer programmer and he does own his own uh, server. So he hosts my website for free. So that is one advantage I did have. Um, however, I started my website. I use WordPress, which is heaven, and it's great for creative people. Uh, it is great for non-technical people like me as well because it's so, so easy to use and set up. And the themes are very nice and professional looking, and they have a lot of free themes as well that you can select from. Now I was ready to go. I have my website, but now I needed to find clients. Still didn't have the money to put into advertising or any, um, any expensive ways to find clients. So I had to do it myself. I had to figure it out. And one of the things I did right off the bat was I set up all my social media pages. I set up a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest pages. Now I already had a LinkedIn personal page, so I set up a business page on there as well. And I updated my personal um, resume history on there to reflect that I had started this new company and I pushed that out to all my connections, which at the time really weren't that many. So the next thing I did was I worked for free, yes free, for three months for my son's former hockey coach in his business. And that enabled me to hone my skills and create a system so that I had a good system down when I gained other clients. It also allowed me to say, yes, I had clients. I wasn't just a business just starting out without any clients. During that time, I told my friends and family and acquaintances that I had started this business and asked them to refer me to anyone they knew that needed social media and marketing help with their small business. Okay, step number four, and probably the most important single thing I did to gain clients was to really work my LinkedIn page. And by that I mean I reached out to local business owners who were the owners of small businesses in Orange County and tried to connect with them. And that worked really well. I was able to make multiple connections. So uh, LinkedIn, by the way, is the number one social media network for B2B. If your business is a business that sells to other businesses, that is the place you absolutely have to be. And step number five, I subbed at BNI, which is a local business networking group 
for um, another person who I met on LinkedIn. Now, I didn't have the funds to join this group, but I was able to sub for free. Now, BNI will um, only allow one person from each field to join their group or sub even at each individual chapter. Now, they have chapters all over the US. So um, I was fortunate they did not have a social media expert and I was able to fill in and sub at that group. So with a lot of hard work and no additional funds, the efforts that I took were successful. And the first thing that happened was my son's former hockey coach was pleased with the job I did for him. And he recommended me to a local gym owner who was in the same complex where his business was. And I got that client and I still work with that client today. And several of the people that I connected with on LinkedIn reached out asking if we could talk about our businesses. And I was able to meet some really great people who had businesses that um, maybe we could complement each other, maybe we could refer uh, people to each other. So that was really great for me. And after substituting at the BNI group here locally, a few times. One of the people I met there referred me to a talent management agency and the owner of that agency hired me. He also referred me to another attorney who also hired me. And on a side note there, I don't take competing businesses. I won't work for two businesses that are direct competitors of each other. So this attorney handled different fields than the one I originally started working with before him. So from there, my business just snowballed and I continue to get referrals from LinkedIn, referrals from my current clients and other people that I know, and also through my social media networking efforts. Now I do have a blog on my Fox social media uh, account as well as my small business social one. So um, I share the information I know to help others and if somebody feels they need help, they you know, know they can reach out to me and they feel like they already know me a little bit. So it's really been great. And, and I love my job. I love what I do. Um, Fox social media is so much fun. I control my own schedule. I love interacting with people on the internet and just uh, watching these businesses grow is amazing. Um, running ads for them is a lot of fun as well. And um, we've had some really good uh success doing that. I've also set up blogger programs for clients. Um, so, so my job is really creative and really fun and I get to work from home and I get to control my schedule. And, and as I've said in past videos, that's enormously huge to me. So to keep my costs down, I used free versions of a lot of apps and a lot of programs. And if you look at the description in the notes below, you will see a link to request my list of all the free apps and free resources and free websites that I have used in the past to help you get started. Um, so many of these have a really great free um, level that works just fine for you. And then as you grow, you're used to it, you've learned it, and you can afford to upgrade to the higher uh, higher levels. Now, I am an affiliate for a few things on the list. Honestly, not too many of them because most of them are free, but I always like to make sure I tell you that in the videos. So just um, click on that link and request a copy and I will email it to you. For instance, some of the resources that I use are, one is a completely free, very basic graphic design program for people who have no graphic design skill, like me. And another is free photos, all free images, and most of them allow free commercial use, so you can use them for your business as well. And you wanna make sure you do that and follow the rules. So it's great to have a site where you know you can go directly to and everything is free. I also use the free LinkedIn account. I don't find that I need the premium based on the way that I use it and the way I run my business. So um, as great as it is, a resource, and it's been completely free. So that's just amazing. Um, the other thing that I do is I follow the, I have certain accounts that I follow that are extremely well-respected, top-notch social media accounts. And I read their blogs and follow all their free programs as well. And I'm staying up to date. Social media is something that literally changes overnight when you're sleeping. So you have to get up the next morning and see what changed in the last, you know, 12 hours since you were 
off of the internet. So um, being able to do that for free in the beginning was amazing. I hope that my story really inspires you and shows you that it's completely possible to create a business with almost no capital and get yourself started and give it a try. Now, of course, it's not the case for every single business in the world, but especially if you have a drop shipping business or a service based business, you don't need a lot of capital up front. And I always recommend to people that you don't put a lot of capital into it right off the bat. You need to test it. You need to see if it's working. You know, you may hit a point where you want to pivot and you don't want to have spent a ton of money on something and find out, oh, I'm not going to use that. That's not my best resource. So getting started small is a huge advantage. You just have to look at it that way and be positive. Remember to click on the link in the description below and get my list of free apps and free websites that I use to start and grow my business. I really think these can help you too and I want to share them with you. It's completely free. So just, just click on there and request it from me and I'll send it out. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you like the videos on this channel and you are someone that wants to start and build your business and needs the process simplified and needs to know how to do it without a lot of money, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting a lot more videos and a lot more ideas for you. So I will see you in the next video.